Hi everyone. Um, in this video we're going to continue working with tools from the Arc Toolbox and specifically from the Spatial Statistics Tools. Uh, this is a handy tool you'll find under um, the Utilities Toolbox towards the bottom here. Um, the tool I'm going to be uh, highlighting right now is the Collect Events tool. Uh, so with all the tools, if you open them up real quick, you'll get a quick description. So what the Collect Events tool does is it lets you take um, point data. And again, we're working with some of the John Snow cholera death data from 1854. Um, and you'll see here in the help, it says converts event data such as crime or disease instance to weighted point data. So basically what that means is that if you have instances where you have uh, a number of points sitting on top of each other, obviously in a map like this, it's difficult to see those. Uh, a good example would be anytime you geocode data, um, it, it's not unlikely that you're going to have one fixed location with multiple points. And so for in the example of, of um, disease data, you might have an a, apartment building, for example, with multiple cases. When, when you look at a map like this, um, the point size isn't indicative of how many cases are there. And so it's, it's very easy to cause confusion because you can have um, what appears to be one point, actually maybe five or six sitting right on top of each other. So this is a nice way to deal with that. Um, the Collect Events Tools lets you basically take a input file and then create the output weighted file, which basically just means that it gives you a new column with the case count field. So I set up some mock data here. All this is is this is some of the um, original cholera death data. Um, broken down into a smaller section. So I'm going to turn that on right now and it's just some data right around the pump. So I'm going to quickly zoom to that layer. And again, if you've geocoded data before, this probably doesn't look too uncommon. Um, you'll have uh, a number of cases um, concentrating sort of in the centroid of the building as we do here, um, but you can't tell how many are actually there. Of course, the um, the, the way to do it by hand would be that you could click the identity button, right, and click on one of these points, for example. And then if you have the field in there, obviously, and I do, you'll see it. Otherwise, you might actually see the list of actual points that is represented by that point. So you can see up here, these are all individual cases sitting on top of each other. So. What I'm going to do is go to the Arc Toolbox under Utilities uh, in the Spatial Statistics Tools Toolbox. You'll find the Collect Events Tools. I'm going to open that up. I'm going to pick my mock data here. And it's going to give me an output feature class. So again, I'm just going to set up a quick layer. click OK, and with all these scripts you see the scrolling little text box down here that tells you that it's actually working. And so what's going to happen is it's actually going to give me back a rendered layer that's sort of broken down for me already. So you'll see that now my points are represented by slightly larger graduated circles. Uh, and then what, what's a little strange, and I still haven't quite figured this out, is that um, in the I count field. So the I count field is basically your case count field. Um, it breaks it down into equal interval um, breaks. Uh, so it's it's not the most intuitive since, at least in this case, it, it would make more sense obviously if we had uh, say decimal data or something like that. But in this case we're really looking for how many cases we have concentrated. We're not going to have any half cases or anything like that. So you might want to do is just quickly change the um, the symbology so the labels are actually meeting the range. So, for example, my smallest dots here now represent one to three cases, and my largest are going to represent eight to nine. You can, of course, change that. You may actually just be interested in anything two or more, um, so you can set up your symbology however you like. And what I've already done here is I've just quickly set up a couple of labels, so I'm just going to turn that on. And so now this is the representation that you'll get. So you'll see here where it appeared that, you know, I was really dealing with maybe one case in a building. Um, in this building, I've actually got two. This one, I've got four. And as we looked at earlier, I've got actually nine here. So 
it's it's a great way to just sort of represent the data and if you look at the attribute table that it creates you'll see it's now added this I count field so of course we can sort this whoops wrong way sort this and I can highlight the records that way as well all right so that's it for this one um, I'm gonna continue trying to walk through in future videos more tools um, as they're found in the spatial statistics tool uh, toolbox and I'll try and highlight a few more in the future. Uh, if you have any questions about this tutorial or how to use this particular tool, feel free to leave questions in the comments.